Hi, welcome to another video. So, Zed is something I've been covering for a while now. It's one of the editors that has built-in AI features. It's not a fork, it was made from scratch with AI in mind, and it isn't just an abstraction layer over VS Code, which is already super heavy. If you don't know about Zed, it's an open source editor made by the creators of Atom. Atom was an editor I used quite a lot when it first came out, but then I switched to VS Code, partly due to society and peer pressure. But anyway, the same developers went ahead and made Zed. It's actually an editor I was using until AI extensions like Klein started popping up. Those weren't supported in Zed, and it almost became necessary for me to use VS Code, as most AI tools were only compatible there. Zed is an editor built from scratch using Rust. It consumes less memory and is super fast, with rendering at around 120 FPS, which is kind of insane for an editor. But anyway, they weren't behind on AI features. They added Zed AI features to their editor, which were really good when they first came out. It allowed you to use inline assist. It had a chat panel, you could send it a file to work on and apply changes and multiple other things like that. But by today's standards, it became a bit outdated rather quickly. We now want agentic capabilities to, uh, vibe code, as the kids say these days. This means we want to just give it a prompt and have it figure out the rest, like which files to read or write, and so on, similar to Klein or Windsurf. However, they are now working on an agent mode, which is almost a complete overhaul of the entire AI system. Yes, Zed is now developing its own agentic editing features. They were kind enough to give me early access, and you can also sign up for their waitlist to likely get access pretty soon too. Also, they seem to be iterating rapidly, so you'll likely see it improve over time. When it becomes generally available, I can do another video then. But anyway, let me show you the new Zedagentic mode that I've gained access to. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research. But what's really cool is their AI playground, where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. now. Back to the video. So, if you get access, you can just download the Zed Preview version. Then, if you open the Assistant panel, you'll see this new UI. It looks pretty good. Let me guide you through it. First, you can type your prompt here. You can also attach context manually if you want. You can add a file or give it a URL to fetch documentation or other information, which is really great. Another thing that you'll see is the option to use profiles. Profiles are really great and quite simple to use. What they do is pretty effective. You get two profiles by default. One is the code writer, and the other is the read-only option. Now, what makes each profile different are the tools you allow it to use. Zed has a bunch of built-in tools and you can configure whether each profile has access to them or not. For example, the read-only profile only has options like viewing diagnostics, fetching content, listing directories, basically all read-only tasks. The writing tools are disabled for this profile, while the main editor profile has access to all tools. You can also create your own profile by going into the settings and adding an element like this one. Currently, you configure the tools within this settings file. 
but they are working on a graphical option for this, so you won't need to edit the file directly in the future. Anyway, this is really amazing, as it allows you to keep things controlled using custom profiles. Apart from this, you can select the model that you want to use. You get $10 of credit with Zed initially, which you can use. You can also top it up at the same rate that Anthropic or Open Router charges. But you can also set up Olama models, DeepSeek, Anthropic, Gemini, and Mistral as well. This is amazing, as you're not stuck just paying Zed. You can use whatever model you want, including the free tier of Gemini, which is great. Now, since we're in the settings, you can see we also have the MCP server option here. This is pretty cool, as you can easily add MCP servers here. It also has a marketplace-like feature for MCP servers, similar to Klein, which allows you to instantly add them, although it's a bit limited right now. Anyway, let's go back now and try using it to see how well it performs. So, let's start with something simple. I have this blank folder, and I want Zed to initialize a next.js app and then create a simple image cropper tool for me. Let's see how it does. First, it gives me the option to run a command to initialize the next.js project. Once we approve that, you'll see it starts working. It then goes ahead and creates the necessary files and structures accordingly, which is pretty cool. And it's now done, and it handled all of this pretty well. Although, one thing I've noticed is that it doesn't show things like streaming the response, which is kind of a downside. But it's currently in alpha stages, and I hope this gets added because it feels good to see the code being streamed live. So, I hope we get that. Now, it currently works primarily with Git for version control. So, what we can do is open the diff view here to see the code it generated or changed. Then, we can also stage the changes and commit them right from here. I like this approach because I use Git for most tasks, but if you don't, they also seem to be working on a non-Git option too. So, that's great. You can also view the changed files in the Git panel. Now let me show you the app that it built. Once we run it, you can see it's finished, and this looks pretty cool. I really like how it looks, and it works really well. So, this is quite amazing. It's pretty awesome for sure. Their new agentic system actually works really well. The main difference I've noticed is that it's much snappier than tools like Windsurf or Cursor. It also doesn't consume as much memory as VS Code. Having AI integrated from the ground up is amazing. You can see the difference. Like when a request completes, you instantly see the response appear. It would be even cooler if it streamed, though. I really like this. And probably as soon as it gets more fleshed out, I'll switch to it. The pricing is transparent. It's open source. It's snappy. And you can use your own API keys or even local models. It's literally what I've always wanted in an editor. It's not a fork. It comes with a bunch of features, and they're only getting started. Achieving this level of quality already is just insane to see. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.